Okay, this is uh, the NQ live here this morning, guys. We're into a nice uh, failure setup. Um, I posted into the room that uh, that we have a nice little failure setup here that's uh, uh, working here for us. Um, this is one of my favorite setups. We have four trading setups that we look at on a daily basis on any futures market, uh, stocks, currency, forex, and also works on crypto. Uh, so. The four setups, uh, you have three trend setups with overall zone trend, and then we have one called a failure setup, which is a failed slingshot, where the slingshot doesn't get pulled in. So let's go over this failure setup. We had uh, one just to happen here a second ago at 8.03 this morning. Really got a big movement up in the NQ, and then one happened uh, here at 6.30 this morning that started that big downtrend at 632. So what is a failure setup and how can we take advantage of it? So you probably recognize when I'm on the microphone, I like to point these out before when they're developing or, or before they happen. Um, it, they're really easy to spot and let me show you how you spot them. So a failure setup is against zone trend. So we have green zones and we have red zones. So here's the easiest way to spot this failure trade setup before it even gets started. What we want to do is we want to, if we get into this outer zone, we have a shallow zone and a deep zone. When we get to the outer zone, this is the 125.25 on the NQ. So this is the 125.25. Some of you like trading the 120.20, but 125.25 is a nice little uh, Rinko size because it's not too fast. So once you get to the outer zone, we're anticipating a slingshot. We're anticipating this small oscillator to go, the thin oscillator, get above 80 and get back down to the minimum threshold of 40 to drive us lower, right? We're anticipating that to drive us the price lower. What happens is if this small oscillator doesn't get pulled in, then you have a possible failure setup. But the key is this that, sets, that keeps my eye on a failure setup, and this is this outer zone. When we get to the outer zone, I'm looking at the large oscillator. This has to happen. If this does not happen, and this will be programmed into the strategy for you, this has to happen. This large oscillator has to be above 65. It has to be above 65. So if you get to the outer zone for buys, and it's above 65, that's the requirement that I have programmed into the strategy, and you can do it when you do your manual trading. This has to be above 65. Right now we're setting up for a failure trade here also. I'll show you why. It's either a slingshot or a failure happening right now live at 825. So right now when you're in the outer zone, you have to be above 65. If it gets above 65 and you come to the outer zone and you get a red bar reversal, meaning you get a what? You get a lower close and open. And that small oscillator all right, is still hanging above your 40 bull and that large oscillator is above 65 and you get a green bar reversal, that is a hard possible punch to the upside and it sure did. It moved from 938 and a half all the way up to 968 and a half. Now this one started into the outer zone also, but look what happened. It pulled you into a slingshot. A slingshot is where it's either going to be a failure or slingshot when you get to this outer zone. So you come to this outer zone. These zones are very accurate based upon a 30-year back test that we we done uh, that we have done on these zones. So these zones like to bounce. Uh, price likes to react out of these zones. So when you come out in this zone, remember we only have four setups in the room. You're looking for a failure trade here or a slingshot. A slingshot says that that small oscillator is going to get above minimum bare 65 threshold and push through and there is your long right there on a slingshot to the upside. If it if if that if the large oscillator got below 40 which is necessary for a, a, sl a slingshot sell I mean a failure sell as long as we come back up we could have come up here and hit a red bar reversal and as long as that a large oscillator stayed below 40 now, not 65, because this is a buy. It's got to be above 65. And then for failed, for failures on the downside, it's got to be below 40. 
So as long as it comes up, stays below 40, and I got a red bar reversal, that would have been a failure short, right? But it's a slingshot. All failures are, are failed slingshots, I mean, that, that don't turn into slingshots, meaning the small oscillator does not pull us into the trade. See, the small oscillator did not pull us into the trade. It was strong, did not get below my, my bull zone of 40, and it cranked up. We had another one that cranked us down earlier. Here's a failure trade also. This is the opposite. This is the sell. The sell is just the opposite. We come down into the outer zone. Once you get to the outer zone, you're looking for what? You're looking for a failure or a slingshot. So right there, you're in the outer zone. You want to see green bars develop for the slingshot. But look at the small oscillator. It's weak. It doesn't get above 65. But more importantly, we get a red bar reversal. More importantly, our large oscillator got below what? It got below 40. As soon as that, if, as soon as I get to the outer zone and I see that large oscillator below 40, I'm thinking failure. As soon as I get above 65 and that large oscillator is above 65 on the outer zone, I'm thinking failure. So that was a nice failure trade also. Market just got cranked to the downside. We ended up this morning since 630. We go into a slingshot here, then we go to a slingshot there, go into a slingshot there, go into a slingshot there, go into our third setup, our momentum setup there, and then we come up and we come up into a slingshot long here. Then we go to a momentum short here. Then we go into our slingshot here. And now pre-news, we go to a slingshot there, and now we're into a slingshot here. So you can see how it develops. Uh, you can see our setups. Our four, all we need to know is our four setups. Failure trade starts big possible trends. Failure trade started the slingshot here. Slingshot, slingshot, slingshot. Momentum, slingshot, momentum, slingshot. I mean, failure trade. There's a slingshot, another slingshot trade. So our, our four setups are really well together, really, really well. And that's what we're looking at uh, uh, here this morning as far as that goes. We do have a conference call next Friday at 8.15. I do have a strategy about coming out to you traders that actually encompasses all four of these setups. And I'm going to go over into the guts of the program. Uh, I'm going to go over the parameters. I have a PDF that accompanies with the strategy. And we're going to start getting into the strategy. Now, every Friday, we're going to have a conference call for a half hour, getting into the strategy where we'll take these failure trades take these slingshot trades as toggle switches uh, by themselves. I have it all built into one strategy. This is the first time ever we've ever built all of our strategies into one program. Let me get this off. News came out. Uh, we're into a slingshot long here in the S&P. Right here, slingshot long. We'll let news settle down here about three minutes, but this is a slingshot long right now on the ES. Uh, we do have the strategy running uh, currently. Um, that is currently long right now uh, from this morning. Oops, let me get this down here. We're going to go over all this stuff next week, next Friday, but we do have that strategy that is uh, that's still running from uh, the NQ. Um, it's still running to the upside. So this is a slingshot strategy that's actually moving to the upside right now. Uh, it has a nice little run and run it, but we'll go over that next Friday um, as we get into strategy development.